to wrestling, and we are discussing WrestleMania Backlash results once again here with my friend Tim. Hello, everyone. My co-host to this wonderful show, broadcast, podcast, I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, <laughs> so let's get into it, but first, before we get into it, I want to congratulate Tamina on her first championship win, congratulations, good for her. Yes, congratulations, I'm actually amazed that it's her first championship win. Yeah, me too, but, like, uh, she's been it, there it, forever. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome, I mean, it, it was almost inevitable that it was going to happen, and the only thing that surprises me is that it wasn't at a pay-per-view, honestly. But yeah, uh, I mean, congratulations, very well deserved. She is finally starting to grow on me. Yeah, Tamina's problem, as I said before, is coming out, yeah. which is good. Which is good. Exactly. Has always been that she has the personality of a um, board of plywood. Now she's allowed to show some, show some, you know. Yeah, some personality. So that's that's awesome. Congratulations, Tamina. Well done. Definitely, definitely. Congratulations on her and Natalia for winning the uh, women's tag teams. Absolutely, but it's not exactly Natalia's first title. No, it's not Natalia's first title, but I mean, it's her first tag team title. <laughs> Overall, really, really good. I'm very proud. Very good proud. match. Good match too, I hear. Yeah, it was. It was actually pretty good. You check it out. But okay, let's get into this, guys. So. I didn't get to watch the um, pre-show, but I knew... I didn't. I, I know that Sheamus had an open challenge, and I guess Ricochet, like, answered and basically lost. <laughs> so yeah. I, that's all I know. So I didn't watch it, guys, so you want to go watch it. As, 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 as far as I know, it wasn't even a title match. It was like Sheamus ducked out of a title match and still won, which I thought was a bit weird but whatever uh it's the storyline they're going with and i don't mind sheamus as a as a u.s title heel um yeah, especially not what especially not one who is you know active every week um that's that's perfect that's exactly how the u.s title should be should be used so the only thing i'm sorry about is that i i really wish they would pull the pull the trigger one time on ricochet I mean, it's like someone like Alistair, uh, Alistair or, or Keith Lee, wherever those two are. Alistair they are both Black wait- is on SmackDown. Oh, he's on SmackDown now. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if he was back from injury. Um, Keith Lee is still out, apparently. Uh, it's just Ricochet, I feel, is too good to always be the jobber, but Sheamus as a US title holder right now, I'm there for that, so probably a good match. You would think so with those two. Oh, yeah, I agree. I totally agree with that. But yeah, I didn't watch it. <laughs> Me neither. So moving on. You should go do that for us. Yeah, you should watch it and tell us how it goes. Anyway, so moving on. So, we got our first match was with the Raw Women's Championship with a triple threat with Oscar Charlotte Flair versus Raya Ripley. Yeah. Which... Um. No, go. No, go Stop. ahead. I was surprised at how much Rhea was out of the match. It was mostly just Charlotte and Oscar. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it, it wasn't like she was knocked out in the beginning and just lay there until the end. She was definitely there, but I think she was out of the match for nearly half of it with Charlotte and Asuka going at it. And they not like, you know, <laughs> yeah, not like the heel thing. I don't even know if Rhea is supposed to be the heel. I don't think so. Um, a tweener, I guess. Uh, Austin-like tweener. I think she's probably, like, in between between a heel and a face. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it wasn't like the heel thing of ducking out of the ring and looking at the other two fight. No, she was, she was knocked out, you know, repeatedly. Not, not actually knocked out, but knocked down, um, repeatedly throughout the match. I, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I just thought it was a bit weird, honestly. Um... But, I mean, if, uh, like you said, they went at it hard. This was... I actually thought this was a bit of a confusing match because I, I felt like it didn't really have a pace at first. And I thought that was weird. But then when I rewatched it the second time to, to make my notes, I was like, okay, it's because every one of them is just going at it and getting their moments in. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I, I agree with that statement. It was more of a moment 
thing. Yeah. Because I mean, it it, it, it cr- felt like a weird match the first time I saw it, but second second time around it was like I I think they could have done it a little bit better, but it made all of them look good, and that's the important thing. Yeah, I mean, it, didn't, it wasn't a bad. I, I didn't think it was a really bad match. No, 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 I mean, no, everyone not at turned all. Turned out just amazing in that match, and it's just. You know, I, have you, not, I think everybody had like their little little moments where like the Oscar, yeah, exactly. like Charlie Farrell had her moment where she was dominating. Oscar had her moment when she was dominating. You know, yeah. Rhea definitely whenever she was in the ring, she was the dominant yeah, champion. It, so she I mean, definitely was. it worked really well. It's just it, it just felt the pacing felt confusing. Like there was never really a, a rhythm to the match. That's not a bad thing, but it can feel a bit weird when you're used to matches going in a certain way. I have not a bad match, not a great match, but everyone looked great. I agree with that. I totally, totally agree with that statement. I mean, it was just... I mean, it was good. I mean, obviously, Rio won. As we predicted, so listen to us. Because, I mean, I mean, obviously, it's going to see them. I mean, I think, but here's the thing, right? Because, I mean, Rhea um, pinned um, Asuka. So, what's going to happen is she's probably, Charlie, Charlie Ferris probably going to be like, oh, well, you didn't beat me because you didn't pin me. So, it's probably going to be a thing between those two, I'm sure. Probably. probably. It, it, it seems pretty obvious Asuka is out now, or at least will be phased out. Maybe Alexa will come in as a spoiler. Possibly. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Could be. Um, but yeah, it, it it seems pretty obvious that they are going for Rhea versus Charlotte too. Yep, um, looks like it. With Asuka being moved being moved to something, which is fine, by the way. Asuka held the title for what three, four months. Um, A good long while. It, it perfectly fine that she is being phased out. Um, so I don't I don't have a problem with that. But that seems obvious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Rhea should Rhea won and Rhea should have should win. So that. It, it, it was a match that did everything it was supposed to, and every one of them came out looking good. But I feel the match itself could have been structured better. I wonder if they didn't have time to practice it. Is it puff? I mean, what do you mean they didn't have time? <laughs> like, five weeks. <laughs> I know, but still. <laughs> How much time do you need? <laughs> Well, obviously, obviously six? more than they got. I don't, I don't six know. Weeks? I, I, if it was only that six weeks, man, we could have made it so much better. <laughs> I am no, probably five weeks, more in that, five weeks in the day, man. Why couldn't it be on Monday? <laughs> I am probably more down on the match than it deserves, because if it had been later in the card, I probably wouldn't have been... It, it, it's the first match of the card, and the first match of the card always have to grab people's attention, and I kind of felt like this one failed a little bit at that. But I'm probably more down on the match than it deserved because all three of them were doing really, really well. And they worked very well together. I mean, there were a lot of close calls where you're thinking, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I honestly think at one point I thought, oh, they are they going to give it to Charlotte anyway? But no, no, they didn't, as they shouldn't, by the way. Agreed, but let's move on. Before we go to the next match, let me just say that after that we had a Miz and um, we had a Miz and Morrison promo, and I probably laughed more than I should have at at Miz trying to tell Morrison what a thirst trap actually is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's funny. You all should tell. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> if you have, if you haven't seen it, if if people just watch the matches or something, it, you should go watch the first. Miz and Morrison promo. It was it was freaking hilarious. Agreed. Go watch it, guys. But next we have the fuck do we have? Oh, I can't read my notes. The The SmackDown um tag team, right? SmackDown tag team champions between the Dirty Dogs and Mysterio, 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 Mysterio. We got Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler versus Yep. Ray Mysterio and um, Dominic Mysterio, and apparently, um, during the pre-show, I guess the Dirty yeah. Dogs um pretty much jumped Dominic Mysterio, and he can we wasn't able to um compete, so then Ray Mysterio went out by himself. So basically, it was a a two on one. 
to Until start. Until halfway through when Dominic came back in. Well, you know he was going to come with that dramatic interest. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I just, this match, this match confused me all the way through because I didn't, I don't, still don't understand what the point was. I would have thought the point of this match was to ele elevate Dominic. In that case, why is he either out the entire time, or why is he coming in in the middle of it instead of at the end to, like, hit a finisher and pin someone? It was like, halfway through the match, he just turned up, and then he didn't get, like, a hero moment. He was just there, and then the match went on. I, w I was very confused at what they wanted to do with that match. I don't know. <laughs> Don't ask me. I don't work there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Again, that was just... I don't... I can't say if this was a good or a bad match. I'm sure it was a very good match. I was mostly just thinking, what, why? What is the whole point? I mean, it was a, a super good to, uh, you know, handicap match. And the beginning with Sigler, Root, and Mysterio. That worked really, really well. I mean, that was a great part. If, you, if, if, any, yeah. if anything else, the beginning of that match was just... I mean... You know, Ray still got it. He's <laughs> yeah, definitely still got it. And Sickler and Rude are both, you know, superior wrestlers. It was... I could have watched that match alone. Right. I um, I mean, like, he could have done that by himself and won that. Yeah. I would have been like, oh, that's awesome. I was like... I was like, yeah. I was waiting for Dominic to come in. I was, I, like you said, I thought, well, he's probably going to come in towards, like, the end and stuff like that. Yeah. But maybe they didn't want that. To be like, you know, that could, it seems kind of cliche too. Where it's like, uh, maybe again, I just, that's I'm been just done so many times. It's like, oh, they come up to the end and they win. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, I'm no. just really, I'm just really confused at what they had, what they were trying to do with it. I guess they're trying because to make again, him like a middle, <laughs> middle start hero. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to make him like a middle of the card, you know, jobber. Fine, that's good. I just don't understand what the whole point was in this in this match. I think it would have made more sense to have Ray, Ray get injured and then Dominic try to carry the match. Yeah. Um, he's the but... one who has to be built up. But, of course, some of that might have to do with the fact that Dominic is fairly new at right, this. Right, exactly. I was, and... I was going to say, that probably wouldn't work because, I mean, he's yeah. kind of new. So I don't, I don't really think that would have... I don't think Ray anybody is... would believe that. They would believe Ray and, can go against those two, but I don't think anyone would believe that Dominic can go against Ray those two. Ray might be the best small small man ever in WWE. Right. So, so I mean, I I'm, I'm not surprised at that. With Ray than with Dominic. So yeah, that's uh, he why. definitely showed he can still go. Uh, the only other thing I had for this match is, um, I know I keep harping on this, but at one point. Why? Just I think it was just before Dominic came in, or just after he came in. Um, so, so it had been a two-on-one for close to eight, seven, eight, nine minutes, and then Sigler hits a zigzag finisher on Ray, and Ray kicks out almost immediately. And I have to keep saying, stop, stop kicking people out of finishers, especially when they have been on a two-on-one for like half a match. But he's stop stronger now. Stop okay. protecting some of those finishes, guys. Let them hit something else. Re-establish signature moves, but please stop kicking out of finishes. It makes the wrestlers look weak. No, 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 no. That's not why. Okay, it's a pay-per-view event. People have extra powers. That's <laughs> uh, true. <laughs> it, it's true. The, okay. <laughs> the WrestleMania backlash superpower. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Again! You, when, you have, when you're on a pay-per-view, your 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 powers get like higher, okay? Everybody knows yeah. this. It's upgrading. <laughs> Everybody well, knows it. Okay, don't don't, it's the don't same, fight like, it. The don't argue with me. <laughs> it's the same like you know the hardest part of the ring is the ring apron. It's 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 one of those things that are just right. That's how it is. This um, is, what it is. Again, this felt like two matches put together. One extremely good handicap match, and one somewhat average tag team match but of course the mysterios as we have told you they would ended up uh winning the titles yep Something dominic the with first a first time ever father and son tag team champion yay champion! now they need to go up against the uh the new day that would be freaking hilarious of course they can't because the new day isn't on smackdown but well, the point is go to the, the, the street profits that'd be hilarious yeah 
Uh, actually, that would be a spectacular good match, I think. Um, <laughs> definitely the right result, or at least as we predicted it. Um, again, I, I was confused about what they wanted to do with the match, but the first part of the match, if nothing else, was um, really, really good. He did a very good frog splash. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero would be very proud. He did a very good frog splash, yes. Uncle Eddie would have, uh, would, is smiling at him. That is for sure. Definitely. Or is Eddie his father? I am not sure. I can't remember how the storyline went exactly. Um, that was a storyline 15 years ago with Eddie saying that he was actually the father of Ray's son. Um, Dominic. Dominic's first appearance on WWE television was 15 years ago when he was like five years old. Um, True. But enough of that. It was a stupid storyline back then. Well, there's a lot of stupid storylines back then. <laughs> anyway, uh. moving on. So we got. <sighs> I need to take my deep breath for this one because this one made me mad. Okay, <laughs> we have the lumberjack it made, match. It made both of us mad. You we go. have the lumberjack you match go. versus the Miz versus Damian Priest, aka a movie promotion. <laughs> Zombies, fucking. Zombies! Dude, this wasn't even a mess. This was straight up just a, a, a movie promotion to for Dave Bautista's, like, I guess he's in, like, a new movie with the Army of the Dead. Yeah, and Zombie this, against uh, the U.S. I, I don't really know yeah, what that was know. about. But, but, okay, it was a good match, somewhat. My favorite Wait. thing was John Morrison. Yeah. Except I don't think it was a good match because they spent more time fighting the damn zombies at ringside than they fi fought True. or spent fighting each other. Why the match lasted? The match only lasted like seven minutes, and they only fought each other for like two of those. Yeah, and there was mostly like <laughs> mostly Miz and, <laughs> and John Mo Miz and John Morrison getting chased by zombies and crap. Yeah. <laughs> it I'm was like, such a it was such a waste of a match. It really was. It was just an advertisement for the movie. It was just like, yeah. y'all, come on. I mean, I understand, you know, he's had the movie come out. And, you know, people, all, I, was, I, I get it, but it's like, I why get it, is and it? it was, oh my God, it was the, on. it was wait, a wait, sponsor. Wait. I know that the movie was the, like, sponsor for the entire show, but it was just so dumb and dumb in the bad way. Not to mention the fact that they were playing it off as if these were actual zombies, for, God, for God's sake. Just say that they're extras from the movie. Just don't pretend. Just in that case, just make it the, the damn movie promo. This was right. just a wait. It was it, it was, was stupid. Waste. It was dumb, and it was a waste of both two awesome performers in P Damian Priest and Miz, also John Morrison, by the way. And it was waste of time. They could have done with something else. True. This is this is very very true. I mean, if you're gonna like promote the the um the movie, you could have had like a bunch of zombies throughout the like the promos and stuff like that throughout oh. the show. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've had people like this little zombies walk by, like what the hell, and stuff like that. But that whole thing was just a waste, <laughs> like yep. a huge, essence and the, waste. <laughs> and the problem is, it made me. It didn't make me angry, not really, but it 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 took away the excitement I had built up for the next match. It took me repeated. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. But the next match, I wasn't. This is a match I have been really looking forward to, and when it started, I was still s steaming over the freaking zombies we had just watched stumbling around. I mean, it didn't really change my opinion on the, on the, the next match, but I mean, it was kind of... No, no, like, I didn't change I, my opinion. I, I, or like my, but, my, or how I would feel, because I mean, I usually, what I do is like, when I'm looking at a match, I don't like take this match and then put it to the next match. I'm like, okay, that was that match. New feelings, re you know, wipe down the my thoughts and go to the next match. 
I've never like I, am a, I never get upset. I'm like a, I am so upset now that I'm gonna put it in the next match. I've, I've never done that because I mean it's like I I am impressed that you be able to do that. I am. Well, I mean I think of it like trying like, not to, but sometimes it gets in my way. Yeah, I I I, I don't do I I. I, I don't do that because it's like okay you can't just like judge all the matches and be like oh they're all gonna be good because this first one was good well the other one might not be so good so i'm like okay it's kind of like dating it's like well just because this person cheats on you doesn't mean the next one's gonna cheat on you you know what i mean <laughs> uh, but yeah anyway uh, um damien anyway, priest yeah, won next match um yeah damien um, priest won and um apparently Miz got eaten up by zombies or something. I don't know. I don't oh, And Don Mortis got eaten up by zombies. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they got eaten enough that Priest then had a match with Morrison, I think, on Raw on Mon I don't even know what the Well, anyway, yeah, I think the that, whole, that whole thing is done now, and I think he's trying to go for that, yeah. that championship, which, you know, good luck to um, Don yeah. Damien Priest on that. All, all the best. All the best, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it was just... It was worthless it was not i mean yeah that's that's the word for it like it i said like i said john morrison he did like some cool like little tricks and stuff like that so if you want to see oh, that yeah, part yeah, that yeah, was yeah. good that was interesting i like that part oh, awesome. i was like that was awesome i'm like don't ever like doubt okay. john morrison and his skills <laughs> the time they were actually in the ring was amazing it was just sad it was only like two minutes yep i agree Totally agree, but <laughs> let's move on, shall we? Yep. We've got the Women's SmackDown Championship. It's Bailey versus Bianca Belair. This was, in my opinion, the first like really, really good match of the evening. Yeah, I I agree. I totally um, agree. My first comment though is regarding the entrances, and that was like, what the heck is up with Bailey's hair? What did she do to it to the, that the, that I day? I think she got a, that electrical cushion look or something. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I know she has started doing the, you know, shaving the opponent's whatever in the back of her head. But just the overall hairstyle looked like... Yeah, really she better not get too many more opponents. You can be bold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I don't... Again, but again, the match was, uh, the match was, was really fine. Back and forth, back and forth, back oh, yeah, and forth, back good. and forth. I, I mean, well, they did really it was good a thing. really, it was a really, I mean, it was like a typical, like, championship match. Yeah. I, I, there wasn't like any, what, I, I also kind of like the fact that I'm thinking back on it. There isn't any, like, real single moments I remember. So, I mean, they didn't, they didn't rely on, on high spots. Right, it was exactly. just overall a really, really good match. Just like some those old, two like as we... old school wrestling. Yeah, exactly. And as we predicted, those two work super, super well together. Although they, I um, know, um, um, what's your name? Bailey started trying to Bailey. use her hair. <laughs> yeah. My uncle's hair. My uncle's, I'm going to use my hair too. And that's how she Do was. It. Yeah. Uh, even did it at the, at the end of the match, which was, which was rather cool. Yeah. Again, uh, the only other comment I have is again, stop kicking out of finishers. Um, I know, I know. You just said it. It's because it's because uh, they have um, superpowers. It's because they have uh, pay per view superpowers. superpowers yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I still stand by my point that it could have been done better. But yeah, super good match. Really long, a fairly long match. Oh, yeah, actually. it was pretty long because can um, the other the other ones was pretty long. Yeah. I mean, which is which is good, and th again, I yeah, just, just I mean, a I really feel like they, they worked really well together too. They worked really well, and it didn't feel like a sixteen-minute match. It didn't really again. Matter. It went, it went, it went on really, it went on really, really well. This just it was kind of like, it was so smooth. It was like putting like peanut butter on bread, guys. It was just so smooth. It was just like wow. Yeah, it was really good. It's, I I thought it would have been really difficult for them to uh, match the match Bianca had with uh, Sasha at uh, Mania, but I, I honestly think this one was better. I, I agree. I honestly um, agree with that statement. Yeah. But, uh, uh, no, offense to, no offense to Sasha, obviously. Sasha's but, obviously, you know, top-notch as well. No offense. Yeah. It just... It, 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 it proves, if nothing else... I don't think so anymore, but I always felt, and I have said this before, that Bailey might have been a bit underestimated. 
by those who didn't see her championship run in NXT. Um, if you want to know how good she is, check out this match alone. Yeah. Uh, because she, it, it, this wasn't like Bianca carrying her. This was this was both of them working well to working super well together to just be be awesome all the way through. Super good match, and Bianca obviously retained the title. Clearly, clearly, clearly. All right, let's move on. We got the other match, another triple threat for the WWE Championship. We got Drew McIntyre versus Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. And like I said, it's just man versus man versus man. Just power, power, Eric, power, power. <laughs> there was so much beef in that ring. Man. You could have fit a family of ten for a, for so a year. So much beef. You want to know um, where the beef this, is? It was in that ring. <laughs> this was, to me, the match of the evening. I just liked how this match went. It's... I feel this is how you do a power, power triple threat match. It was up-tempo all the way through. There was no real rest holds. It was power moves, but it wasn't spot monkey moves like... When, you know, Roman and Brock fought and it was just five finishes in a row. Yeah. Um, there were even te technical wrestling involved from all of them. I think I saw Braun attempt... I think I saw Braun attempt an actual, like... An actual something like... Uh, 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 what was it called? A, a, a side... Uh, a fallaway slam at one point. Oh, yeah, it yeah, was... yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was it was super 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 good. Um, they just and all of them looked looked awesome. Oh yeah, they all looked great. I mean, oh. it was an amazing match. I don't really like have no. I mean, it was like basically a typical like triple threat match too, with just this yeah, just power and like I think wasn't it wasn't it went through the um the LED lights and <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> ah no everything everything just and they battered each other to hell and back it, it just the, my only problem remains the fact that even in the ring Bobby Lashley has the again like I said about Tamina he has he has the personality of plywood um, that dude is so good in the ring he re they really need to allow him to develop a personality I think the, I think um, Bobby Lashley is probably turning into the godfather you know I watch um Raw <laughs> yeah <laughs> he, he had all those ladies I'm like wait a minute that's the godfather oh no no this is Bobby Lashley <laughs> on that note to anyone watching apparently there will be a new Broken Skull sessions with the godfather on Sunday so you should go watch oh, that nice. if nothing else that is going to be fun I think godfather is one of those who are Friends with everyone, and no one really remembers him. So, I think that's going to be a really good he one. He was also, um, what was it, Papa Doc or something? Yeah, so I, I, I can't remember all the, all the, all the uh, yeah, stuff he did. He, he was very smart, not to get off track, but we're getting off track, but he was very smart when, like, something was, like, um, not working, and he would just change it. Yeah. He was really smart yeah. about that. But anyway. Yeah, he didn't... But uh, again, uh, yeah, Lashley wins at the end, um, as as we predicted, and as I feel he should. Um, uh, again, I just I just really wish they would give Bobby Lashley a personality because he has all the wrestling skills, but even Brock Lesnar has more of a personality than Bobby Lashley, and then you have then you start having a problem. Right? Then there's a situation. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I refuse to believe Lashley can be as dull and boring as, as he appears to be. And that's, I mean, all the man does is glare at you and... Um, Are you alright like over that. there? <laughs> no, not, not really. No, I'm pretending to be Bobby Lashley. That, that's, that's not working, clearly. Clearly. Um, so, no. Uh, but, yeah, um, great match. Really, really, really great match. In every way. Definitely. Well, let's go to the main event match, which was the mm -hmm. Universal Championship, Bizarre versus um, Roman Reigns. And before I, um, before we start, during this time, during, during throwing out the show, um, Jimmy 
Uso, who I came back, was pr pretty much telling AJ, hey, so, you know, let's, let's forget about Roman. Let's do our thing and, and stuff like that. And so, so then Jey Uso's like, hey, I'm not going out with you to the ring. Mm-hmm. But I, I just want to put that out there because it's, it's yep. significant to the match later on. It is. And uh, I have thoughts on that, but let's talk about the match first because I have thought about it when we're, when we're done, basically. Well, I'm not saying um, anything. I'm just saying, like, during the, the thing that Jay Uther was pretty much talking to Jay. Yeah, through the yeah, whole... yeah I, I'm, just, I'm just saying I have thoughts on the storyline, but we can do, deal with that later. Yeah. Um, Because it's more like how it's going forward. But this one was my um, favorite match. Yeah, I can, I can see why. I can see why, and I'm not blaming you at all. It was, like we said, Cesaro can have a good... Reigns have really improved in the last couple of years in the ring, and Cesaro is Cesaro. I mean, Cesaro's I mean, always just, been like just an brilliant. amazing wrestler, and he's like really yeah. strong. <laughs> and the story they told in the ring uh, with Cesaro's arm and so on—it was it was supremely good. It really was. I I, I enjoy. I mean, there was some just some close, too many close moments where you're just like, yeah. Where it's like, are they gonna give it to him? No. <laughs> oh my God. For, for, for a second there, I did wonder. Oh um, I never, I never, I was, I never really was. Oh hell yeah, they are. I was always like, no, no, they're not. No, they're not. But that, they made me, they made me at least consider it for a second or two there. Yeah, exactly. Me so too. that I was. was like, um, oh, yeah, I can, I can always. And, and again. Roman Roman was dominant Roman was dominant as he should be for most of the match but I mean it wasn't like Cesaro didn't have I mean the match was almost half an hour long so that makes sense uh, but it wasn't as if Cesaro didn't have anything True. Um, yeah so yeah this 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 I I, I I can see why why you would have this at your at your, I mean, as your match I mean I just like how Cesaro was working in this match. Yeah. Where was all his techniques and, and, and stuff like that. And, and like you said, the injury and he's still going at it and everything yeah. else. And it's just like the close call. I mean, it's like kind of like a little just as is your seat kind of matches where it's kind of like, yeah, exactly. you, 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 I'm like, you never know like what WWE is going to do. You know no, 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 uh, no. Cesaro got thrown out of the ring fairly early. And uh, apparently injured his right arm. And his right arm is, of course, the one he's doing all of his uppercuts with. Um, so that was the story in the match, basically, that Cesaro tried to fight through this terrible pain. And Roman kept targeting the arm. Not as, you know, um, as they should. <laughs> as, and again, this is a perfectly valid storyline. It's been done a lot of times and it will never get bad. It's, it's exactly how it's going to be, because if Cesaro loses... Well, we can do the rematch because it was the arm and that was an accident. Or and if he wins, it's like, whoa, he did it despite his his bad arm. It's it's absolutely how it should be. Yeah, I agree. Um, I totally. Agree. And uh, uh, well, Roman, as again we predicted, this is why you should listen to us, people. The only thing we couldn't predict was fucking zombies, but other than that, we know everything. But yeah, Roman retained as we uh, as we expected by technical submission, which means he made Cesaro pass out. Yep. But he didn't tap. He just got passed out. He didn't tap. He didn't tap. He, he was he wasn't pinned. He passed out, which is a which is if anyone is new to wrestling, that is a very specific um, positive thing. It's much better to hold out against the pain until your body betrays you than to tap out. It makes you look stronger. Definitely. And it's also a good it, thing is that the whole rivalry could still continue as well. Yeah. Which I, I, was, which it, I exactly. enjoy. Exactly. It's a technical submission win, not a tap out or a... Uh... So, yeah, this is they're definitely going forward with, with, uh, with more matches between those two. Definitely. And thank goodness for that. I, I still think Cesaro should win uh, should win the title at SummerSlam. Oh yeah, I, I um, agree with that. But which is not impossible, by the way. So yeah, so then like after, you know, he won, what, Jay came yep. out? And he pretty much, you know, <laughs> acknowledged again <laughs> Roman Reigns, put a lay on him yeah, and stuff the like that. the table! Yeah, 
And it's like, you know, then he got him himself a piece of Cesaro by like, beating his ass. And yep. then the music hits, and Rollins comes out, Mr. Drip. Yeah. <laughs> I love that Mr. Drip. Mr. God, I Drip. Love, I out. love how much fun Rollins seems to be having with this role. He hasn't won a lot of matches, but again, when you're Seth Rollins, you don't have to. I mean, I, I like it. I mean, into... I, 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 I think it's funny. I am I, I like... super happy with this. I... I, I was like looking. He he pretty much like face to face with um. Roman, Roman. yeah, that was, looked, that was interesting. That was interesting. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> like, now it's like yeah. looking at each other. I'm like, y'all got the same like look, <laughs> like yeah. the same hair, the same beard. They, I'm like, they look, they look so much alike. They look so similar. <laughs> I was like, if, if Rollins wasn't wearing the suit, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, wait, what? I mean, Rollins, Rollins is physically smaller, but even their facial shape is very much alike. Yeah, I'm like, it's really weird. It really I didn't was. notice back. I didn't know. I never noticed that back in the days when they were with Shield, just how similar they actually look to each other. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, well, you know, I think like because of the. I think Rollins been getting a little bit more bigger too, and he's like his jawline. You know, I'm like, uh, he, he's probably bulked up a little bit. That's not impossible. Yeah. Although Roman has shrunk a little bit, um, <laughs> he 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 has bulked up again recently. But he he was getting a bit smaller after the um, leukemia thing. Yeah, that's true. It is true. Uh, side note: I just want to say it was like <laughs> Roman Roman's own. Um, Attire kind of reminds me of like some guy that just got off of work and just like went to the bar and he took no, off no, he took off his no. shirt and he's like no. I'm ready to fight man <laughs> like, no. like I, he just I, put I, on I, some slacks and he's like <laughs> I never thought I would say it but holy crap he should go back to the uh, shield outfit right he, <laughs> he looks so I, I, he, just, he literally looked like he was like about to wrestle he just looked like he just like I'm just gonna go fight in my <laughs> in my church clothes or something. <laughs> I, know. I know, I know what they're doing. They're revoking the whole one thing. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But yeah, he 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 looks like you said, like like some construction worker who's like, oh, I, I built a building today. Now I'm gonna go fight. Right? Like he's gonna like he's um, gonna go into the fight club or something. Like what is going on? I know. Was, I'm like, you can at least so... put some like wrestling type, like do like a, a kind of like an Undertaker kind of thing, maybe. But yeah, I'm just, like, yeah, no, 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 no. That, no that's okay. that's not what you do when you're head of the table. No. Then you dress in sweatpants and nothing else. You just go fight, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I just had to throw that in there. But anyway, um, Rollins came out. They he just like smiled. Well, someone said he looked like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, like... I know. I mean. <laughs> It, it wasn't like he had face paint or anything, but holy crap, his outfit was um, his speaking for itself. Oh man, his outfit looked like his outfit looked like someone just like dripped some paint. <laughs> well, there is a reason why he was Mr. Drip. drip. Yep, in this they just particular the case. Paint. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was oh. interesting, but no, it was, no, it was, it was fine. Really it good. fits his it fits his current character like. Oh my god, he fits his current character so good. Oh my god, it's great. I mean, I mean, all, I can, all, all I can imagine is him coming home to uh, to Becky. And <laughs> to Becky and his like, daughter be like, what Daddy, what are you hell wearing? Did you do to, uh, <laughs> what did you do today, dude? Uh, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> so he starts he start beating the crap out of um, Cesaro, like all over, pretty much, the ring. The area, the ring, the arena. So yeah. <laughs> yep. And he's like, "Don't you forget about me." You don't. Blah 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 blah. So obviously he's not done. So basically, oh, Cesaro no. has something to beef with Roman and Rollins. <laughs> I mean, I it, it, this looks like it's going towards another tri uh, going another to triple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is fine because again, that will also help extend the feud until they are ready to either give Cesaro the title. Or just have a big SummerSlam match, no matter what. Yeah, this will be I like, still think they should give will, Cesaro the title. This will probably but, um, be like the same as they did with um, Daniel Bryan with um, when they yeah. had um, Latissa and um, Randy Orton on that WrestleMania yeah, 30. Exactly. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, exactly. I am. I. I, I exactly. Uh, I agree with you there. And again, we have the uh, Uso thing with Reigns, which can also 
play into the whole. I I am actually, I'm actually excited about what they're doing with the main title, for yeah. once. It's it's been a while since I've been really excited about both main title runs, but they I like I like the people they have running for it right now all way all the way through, and I like the storylines they're building. Again, the only thing I could wish is Bobby Lashley actually got a personality. Oh, due time, maybe due time, but yeah. Yeah, one can hope. So, uh, got, but yeah, no. That was backlash. Yeah, I have only backlash one question. Twenty twenty one. What's your question? What do you think of the new announcer? You know what? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> oh, fine. To be honest, that's a question. I mean, to me, he just seems like something to get used to, uh, but I think it's because he's obviously not a wrestling announcer. Yeah, uh, he I mean, sounds I, more I... like a mainstream, like a mainstream sports announcer yeah. who's I calling mean, I... wrestling. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, like, from what I can remember, it, 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 it was, it's not necessarily. It's not. It's not, it's not no, a bad no, thing. No. It's just. No, 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 not at all. It's just it's just something to get used to. I feel. Or something I need to get used to. Um, but yeah, again, just just a thought that occurred to me while I was watching. Uh, remember to ask you what, what you thought about him. Mm, well, yeah, I was, like I said, I wasn't really paying attention. But um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you rate this out of 1 out of 10? The entire show, I, mm -hmm. I would probably give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Um, Go ahead. Sorry. You? No, seven. No, go. Go. <laughs> what did you what did you want to give it? Six. Six, eh, okay. Six and a half. Six and a half, se six and a half seven, that's probably about right. I feel like I the feel last like things three net. I have to tell like things get a bit better and I feel like yeah. that whole zombie thing just downgraded to like <laughs> yeah. <a> point. <laughs> yeah, I can I can buy it. I, I I feel like the last three matches draw it up. The first couple was weird and then the yeah the the zombie thing was never do that again wwe under no circumstances ever ever ever, ever do that again ever i never but yep guys right. thanks so much for watching as always we appreciate you guys um this is our chill time go ahead and chill something <laughs> well i am currently on my twitch channel which will be linked below i'm sure I am doing a Fallout 4 YOLO run, i.e. a permadeath run, where if I die even once for, well, any other reason than Bethesda, Bethesda uh, bugs, then the game, then the stream is over, the game is over, I have to do something else, so that is, that is fairly exciting, and uh, so if you want to hear me run around screaming like a little girl whenever enemies show up, that is your chance. And I am doing the Borderlands thing this all this week. Um, um, episode four, I believe. I don't know. And, uh, and what else? So that's almost done. So and then also towards the end of this month, maybe the beginning of next month, me and Tim will be playing um a game together. Yep. And uh, it go ahead. it takes two. It's the it it takes two. It's like a cheesy comedic whatever cooperative game by the same people who made a way out this is just this is just see so it, it has a lot of the same elements uh in cooperation it's just a completely different game yep and also i may put out a video on saturday or sunday so go look out for that if i do I'm not sure yet but anyways guys thanks I so much and we'll see you guys next time okay bye bye <laughs>